all right people welcome welcome again to mg sports tv now um tyree mcgee <laughs> no the, the, the reason i'm doing this video is because in, in recent time a lot of persons has, has, has been asking me um what's the situation with tyree mcgee where's tyree mcgee um i'm not seeing tyree mcgee playing any football what is happening with tyree mcgee and you guys know from a long while back that tyree mcgee was actually at our view um there was even um things being mentioned that he might play um for Alberview in the jamaica premier league and then apparently i got information that he was just at Alberview keeping fit training um to see what is next or what's available for him but personally i thought that from what i what information that i received was some personal things that he was starting out um while well, um being back in jamaica because you know it's middle of the season in belgium and also but anyway i'll be getting to that details people please do smash the like button hit the subscribe button and certainly turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss a video i think this one is an interesting one i think this is definitely an interesting video um basically <clears throat> something that we we have seen these type of trends for for, for a while now we've seen these type of trends for a while now i'm going to even speak about um jordan fletcher as well so as i said people smash the like button if you're here for the first time please hit that subscribe button and join the family we're on the road to 30k subscribers we are on the road to 30 000 subscribers can we reach it let's see how fast we can get there anyways now let me pick up where i left off um tyra mcgee was a um was basically in jamaica and the old notion was that he left um cast you pen to come to jamaica to sort out, to sort out personal issues now these personal issues weren't necessarily clear these personal issues weren't necessary necessarily clear but <clears throat> evidently we saw where he was in jamaica many people saw him and was wondering what's the reason now it was middle of the season so what is the tyre mcgee doing in jamaica apparently based on what we're seeing now tyre mcgee is now at um switchbacks in the usl championship um colorado springs switchback <clears throat> fc yeah where he joins the sean beckford Mal uh, malik foster um wells malik foster wells he joins um devon speedy williams so joins a lot of the the, the reggae boys uh, um familiar faces i would say these are players that he knows well he, he has been around and the reason why i saw someone send me, send me a video of him dancing with these guys you know jamaican dance dance enjoying ourselves we 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 love to have a vibe and um certainly you have to wonder what is really happening because if when he was at cast open and they said that he came to jamaica to sort out personal issues how is he that he's now with um the switchbacks in uni in, in in jersey in, in colors if he's still a part of cast open because let me check because i don't want to get it wrong you know well i'm going to check i i don't want to get it wrong because <clears throat> the german league um the, the belgian league my apologies the belgian league i believe is still active which means that he would have still be under contract let me see okay so the league, the league's actually ended actually so i'm seeing the last game played for them was on the 23rd 23rd of april but it's not now that he's at is at, is at um um switchback so maybe um uh, after the league has completed he would have made that move um but certainly he would have been here a longer while or could be a case in which he was whilst he was in jamaica he was actually released from that time and they they were trying to keep that on the down low that could be the case but for safety purpose for a safety reason um the assumption would be that after the completion of his contract that's where now we're seeing videos of him circulating in um switchbacks now but how do you move from 
Belgian top tier league to the USL, not even the MLS, to the USL. Now that is a question I you have to ask because you're coming from or uh, when you left Jamaica, you were left Jamaica as one of the highly rated um, young promising stars of Jamaica. Then you went to Germany. No, my apologies. You went to Belgium, and things did not really materialize as though you'd see it. Um, not a lot of game time, not a lot of appearances. Uh, people asking questions, look, oh, you're in um, Belgium so long, what's going on? Why don't you go to a lower, lower club just so that you can get game time? So these are all the questions being asked. And then you have to ask questions now about his representation. What are they really doing for the player? Because the far drum from the Belgian Pro League to the USL champion, that's a huge drum, people. That's a huge dip. A, a big, big dip. In my per, in my view, my, maybe not in yours, but in my view, it's a big, big dip, people. From the Belgian Pro League to the USL. USL, USL I would say USL is the, is the bottom of the bar, basically. Now, if, if in a sense, because if you realize there's not a lot of players still in Jamaica right now that are trying to go to the USL, um, and many of the players in Jamaica right now, they, they, have, they have taken USL off their, their agenda. They've taken the USL off their agenda and trying to push for the smaller leagues in Europe, which makes it easier to transition to the bigger leagues in Europe, which is actually a smarter move. I'm saying, it, maybe it, when he came back to Jamaica, he did not want to play in the JPL because it would certainly look like a huge demotion but let me tell you still playing the usl championship it's still also it's also a heavy heavy demotion i would i would say but i i i i, I don't want to say that um he is young <laughs> he's young so he still has time to pick up his career he still has time to pick up his career but certainly there is something that needs to be fixed within his either his management or him and how he approaches football there's certainly an area to look at in that aspect is he being managed correctly is he making the right decisions where his future his future is concerned because i do believe that he could have gone to at least a lower a lower league in belgium rather than come all the way back here to jamaica then to the usl that's actually a huge demotion. Nonetheless, let's see. Sometimes they say in life you have to take a step back to move forward. Let's see if that is what he's looking at. Taking a step back uh, then to progress forward. Anyways, people, I won't go any further. Tell us what you think. Tell me what you think in the comment section about this move from Tyre McGee going to a USL Championship from the Belgian Pro League. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a big question mark for me personally. A big, big question mark for me personally. So tell us how you think, people. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, go into the comment section and tell us how you think, people. Until next time, this has been a good one. MG Sports TV, people. Hopefully, wish you all the best, Tarek McGee, and see where this one takes you. Until next time, people. And I am out.